What if the most advanced warship ever constructed wasn't just about technology, but also about a legacy of courage, sacrifice, and breaking barriers? The USS Doris Miller isn't merely a next-generation Ford-class aircraft carrier. It's a floating embodiment of America's past struggles and future ambitions. But how does this state-of-the-art ship connect to a kitchen worker who became a hero at Pearl Harbor? How is it redefining naval warfare for decades to come? And most importantly, what does it say about the Navy's commitment to innovation and inclusivity? Get ready to uncover the answers. Before we dive into the ship's mind-blowing features, let's journey back to a fateful morning in December 1941. It's early Sunday at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. The harbor is tranquil, the ships gleaming in the sun. Among them is the USS West Virginia, where 22-year-old Doris Miller, a Navy cook, is finishing breakfast service. But within moments, tranquility turns to chaos. Japanese planes swarm the skies, bombs and torpedoes raining down. Miller's battle station, an anti-aircraft gun, is destroyed in the first wave. Amid explosions and smoke, Miller is tasked with aiding the ship's wounded captain. After assisting the injured, he mans a Daunt 50 caliber machine gun, a weapon he'd never been trained to operate, and fires relentlessly at the attacking aircraft. His actions saved countless lives and made him a national hero. Miller's bravery earned him the Navy Cross, the first African American to receive this distinction. It also ignited conversations about racial equity in the military. The Navy wasn't just naming a ship, it was etching Miller's spirit into its future. Fast forward to today. The USS Doris Miller, the fourth Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier, is under construction. It's a floating fortress of technology, power, and symbolism. What makes it special? The Ford class carriers, including the Doris Miller, represent a $14 billion leap forward in naval engineering. But what makes them so revolutionary? Imagine replacing the steam-powered catapults of old with cutting-edge electromagnetic fields. This innovation enables smoother, faster, and more energy-efficient aircraft launches. It also drastically reduces maintenance, freeing up resources for other operations. Landing on a moving runway at sea is an art, and the AAG system makes it safer than ever. Using electric motors instead of hydraulics, it allows for precision landings of everything from heavy jets to lightweight drones. The ship's nuclear reactors produce 250% more electricity than previous carriers, ensuring it can support future technologies like directed energy weapons and railguns. The Doris Miller will operate with 20% fewer crew than Nimitz-class carriers, thanks to advanced automation. That's a game-changer for cost efficiency during deployments that can last months or even years. The keel-laying ceremony for the USS Doris Miller is scheduled for 2026, with delivery expected by 2032. Building a carrier of this magnitude is like assembling a skyscraper that floats, meticulously planned, layer by layer. Challenges and triumphs. Ford-class carriers haven't had a smooth ride. Earlier models faced technical glitches, delays, and skyrocketing costs. But, you know, Lessons learned from these hurdles are shaping the Doris Miller into a leaner, more efficient powerhouse. A tribute to progress. Naming this carrier after Doris Miller marks a turning point, not just in technology, but in representation. It's a nod to the changing face of the US Navy, which now embraces diversity at every level. Why should Americans care about this 1,100 foot long behemoth? The USS Doris Miller will play a critical role in maintaining U.S. dominance on the high seas, especially as China's Navy grows at an unprecedented rate. With the ability to project power globally, it's a linchpin in America's strategy to deter aggression and maintain peace. This isn't just a carrier, it's a testbed for technologies that could change warfare. Hypersonic weapons? Check. Drones and autonomous systems? Absolutely. The Doris Miller ensures the Navy stays ahead of adversaries. By honoring Doris Miller, the Navy is sending a message. Bravery and service know no racial bounds. It's a tribute to the progress made in military inclusivity since World War II. The USS Doris Miller isn't just a technological marvel. It's a blueprint for the future. Its reduced crew size and energy efficiency address long-standing logistical challenges. Its advanced systems are ready for the next generation of warfare. And its very existence reminds us that the Navy's strength lies in its ability to innovate, both technically and culturally. 
Economic ripple effects. Building this carrier supports thousands of jobs across America, from shipyard workers in Virginia to engineers in Silicon Valley. It's a beacon of industrial strength and national pride. Strategic versatility. Whether responding to natural disasters or projecting power in contested waters, the Doris Miller is a Swiss Army knife of capabilities. The USS Doris Miller isn't just a ship, it's a legacy, a promise, and a leap into the future. It honors the courage of a man who broke barriers while equipping the Navy to break new ground in naval warfare. What part of the USS Doris Miller's story resonated most with you? Do you think carriers like this will still dominate future warfare, or will unmanned systems take their place? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and share this video to celebrate a ship and a hero worth remembering.